Hi, and welcome to Antelope Valley Schools Transportation Agency, or AVSDA, Safety and Training video series. Each video will cover specific areas of workforce training and compliance regulations, and can be viewed in part or in whole as part of our ongoing commitment to facilitate employee safety, productivity, and knowledge. There are several scenarios where a school bus may not use their eight-light system. The California Vehicle Code 22112 says we may not activate the amber warning light system or the red light signal system except at a location where pupils are loading or unloading from a school bus and must cross a highway or private road upon which the school bus is stopped. The school bus driver may not activate the amber warning light system, the flashing red light signal system, and stop signal arm at any of the following locations. California Code Scenario Number 1 Because using the 8 light system and requiring traffic to stop could pose a safety hazard or unsafe traffic issue, our first location example for non-use of the 8-light system is at a school bus loading zone, on or adjacent to school grounds, or during an activity trip, if the school bus is lawfully stopped or parked. Remember, non-use of the 8-light system is whether pupils are loading or unloading. California Code Scenario Number 2 Non-use of the 8-light system number 2 is where the school bus is disabled due to mechanical breakdown. The driver of a relief bus that arrives at the scene to transport pupils from the disabled school bus shall not activate the amber warning light system, flashing red light system, or the stop signal arm. The driver from the disabled school bus will walk students to the relief bus, ensuring their safety. California Code Scenario Number 3 The third non-use of the 8-light system is where a pupil requires physical assistance to board or leave the school bus, and providing assistance extends the length of time the school bus is stopped beyond the time required to load or unload a pupil that does not require physical assistance. California Code Scenario Number 4 Our fourth location example for non-use of the 8-light system is where the roadway surface on which the bus is stopped is partially or completely covered by snow or ice, and requiring traffic to stop would pose a safety hazard as determined by the school bus motor carrier. California Code Scenario Number 5 Our number 5 non-use of the 8-light system is on a state highway with a posted speed limit of 55 miles per hour or higher, where the school bus is completely off the main traveled portion of the highway. California Code Scenario Number 6 Our sixth and last location example for non-use of the 8-light system is any possible location determined by a school district or a private school, with the approval of the Department of the California Highway Patrol, 
to present a traffic or safety hazard. All of these are scenarios where you do not use your eight light system. But remember, when children are crossing the highway or a private road in any location, you must use your eight light system. Thank you for your participation in today's training session. AVSTA is fully committed to the safety and well-being of all of our employees.